I don't think I'd have to make this video considering the fact that I think that the majority of the people who watch me here on YouTube are actually good people. But recently there's been this conversation, especially during my last video where I spoke about the 1600 bans that people seem to keep forgetting why these people were banned in the first place. These players were banned for malicious acts, harassment, as well as racism towards other players. They were legitimately not banned for any other reasons beyond that. Because if it was for saying Sega sucks, then you know what? I'd be banned. Kuropi would be banned as well as many other content creators would also be banned because the majority of the people who are out there currently giving valid criticism towards sega saying that your game sucks here's why do we have any proof no but you know what you don't need proof in the terms of service of various games including sega games they can ban you for any number of reasons without disclosing as to why this isn't anything new considering the fact that this has happened over the course of gaming history for quite a long time but as a courtesy what most companies wind up doing is that whenever you submit a support ticket they actually can open an investigation to find out why your account has been banned or do an investigation to then say hey we will then figure out how to lift the ban that's currently on your account games like the elder scrolls online final fantasy 14 and various other games of the mmo variety have also been this way for quite some time but when it comes to fantasy star online 2 specifically there are a couple of reasons that you can get banned and this has been something that's been available in the japanese version for quite some time whether or not it's been enforced as heavily as like the global version more recently that's a different story you can get banned for harassing other players that basically means like you're actively going going out of your way to badmouth them or even talk shit to them, creating multiple characters or accounts to grief them even when they block you, using things like pornographic symbol arts when somebody has actively told you not to, or using any sort of slur words when it comes to the area chat or even your party alliance and private chats. Bypassing the filter when it comes to some of these swear words is in fact not okay. Saying things like fuck or shit damn isn't going to get you banned, but saying things like the n-word and various other words of that nature will in fact get you banned. Now, now, it's funny because I've seen very little toxicity when it comes to the Fantasy Star Online 2 community, so I was actually surprised to see that there were 1,600 players that were banned. In fact, I was just as surprised as most of the people who were then advocating that they shouldn't be banning people at all. But the difference is, is that they absolutely should be banning these bad actors because honestly, I don't want any game that's going to allow these people to coexist. Some people are actively going out of their way to be like, oh, well, it's just comedy. Comedy implies that there are people laughing and using oppression in any sort of the way as comedy. That's not okay. I'm sorry. Sorry to say it, but if that makes me a bad person for admitting something like that, well, you know what? I'm the worst of them all. But while I've only ever had maybe one actually negative run in, I've been seeing it all over the place on things like the Reddit as well as Twitter. And there's also a very stark difference when it comes to the Japanese in the global section is that during the Japanese culture, they don't think these things are okay to begin with. The people actually using xenophobic or even racist slurs in any sort of way were in fact banned. The only difference being is that symbol arts weren't exactly all that moderated to begin with. So the global players who used to play the Japanese version wound up seeing a lot of pornographic symbol arts and we're like oh okay i guess that must be okay but needless to say that's just because you weren't reported i'm not going to argue against it saying hey you shouldn't use that because what you do in your own time is not my business but if you wind up posting those things in the area chat or when people are not willing to see those things well guess what you're an asshole but if you wanted to post those pornographic symbol arts in your alliance or even against your friends who were okay with that thing then by all means i'm not going to yuck your yum now people are trying to say that the game shouldn't be banning anybody at all because they have have a lower amount of players than some of the other games that are around i'm sorry but maybe somebody has to educate me here but even other games where you use racist and homophobic slurs you will get permanently banned and even if you do get banned in some of these games yes it is a three day or even one week suspension but eventually it will become a permanent ban and again we all know that the game is lacking from content so for using that as another means to say they shouldn't be banning people because they created their own scenarios here i can't justify the logic that by using xenophobic racist or any sort of slurs in general is okay because the game doesn't have content where is the logic in that people also say that they should be releasing these statements on the japanese side but the thing is is that they do but for various other reasons and also at various other times most of the time whenever a japanese statement wants to say that they were banned it was because they're banning rmt bots or even people of malicious intent and that's it they kind of just shove it under the rug and that's the only time you hear of it normally the numbers are so small that it becomes insignificant anyway i've actually gotten to the point where i would then want to go to look at the reddit because somebody made it a point saying hey you should go look at the reddit thread and funnily enough i had already did but today i wound up seeing a comment that was currently you know hidden but it was actually because it was still getting upvoted and it was a negative comment and i hate to use this as an example on one of my own videos but let me get this out there these are tons of comments much like this one on the thread where they started talking about 1600 players were banned where this person here actively goes out to say that sega banning players is the equivalent of being racist but no that's not the case how do you that's that's 
that's a reach that's a far leap but in fact you can see that this is getting uploaded and when you look at a lot of the other comments that are on that thread minus the one that is about the european laws when it comes to certain you know privacy things was actually started back in 2016 all of the comments are relatively the same at least the ones that are getting uploaded and when you look at the twitter there are a lot of other comments of the same variety and somehow some way i'm in the wrong for calling these things out or other content creators are wrong for calling the other these things out sega's also in the wrong for saying that they ban people for malicious conduct as well as racism in what world is that thing okay feel free to like or dislike this video because i i legitimately want to know why you know these things are going down i understand that the idea that there's this concept that happens in the united states called the freedom of speech but that does not mean that you're free of consequences if you're a bad actor you will then be treated as such and as far as any eu laws that are being broken here i'm also not informed on the gdpr that everybody keeps referring to so if in fact sega did break any laws then let's be honest they would be called for and they would be tried and they'd be liable to be sued but sega has a strict legal team to be able to say hey these are reasons why we didn't break any laws because any company that is a publisher and or anything of the sort has a legal team for reasons like this in that first place but i will say that right now besides all this and i i just don't understand and this is going to be the only video where i actively go out and say and it's like i don't care how toxic you are please leave a comment i legitimately want to know why it's okay for people to be these kinds of people like this is not okay like yes the game is suffering from lack of content yes they could in fact hire more staff to be able to expedite their own schedule yes the monetization system is absolutely trash yes things right now stand like it feels like a predatory gotcha game but that still doesn't give anybody the right to be able to be any of these kinds of people and i'm not looking to talk further on the topic in any other videos going forward because if sega's wrong i'll call them out for it too now, i'm not going to go ahead and say that sega was completely in the right because i'm sure that there were people who were unjustly banned in that 1600 people who were just in the room and they seemed complacent and or an accessory to but as far as we know there was human people involved in the process and none of this was automated from my experience of talking to people at sega over the last couple of months even over the last year i don't think that they'd go out of their way to be like all right well that guy said sega sucks ban him because that just doesn't seem right and that doesn't seem logical in any sort of way the only thing that i will agree with that any sort of person one was saying is that there should be moments like this where they do have a strike policy in place but as far as i know that those are in place already because there's two error codes that then signify that error codes 816 and 817 817 being a permanent ban versus 816 which is a temporary ban or vice versa not vice versa the other way around you know what i meant but let's be honest right now i just don't see it but if you actually do feel like you were wrongfully banned then you know what there is something that you can do even beyond going to sega and be like putting a support ticket in actually go to the my documents folder on your computer go over sega go over the fantasy star folder and a steam or microsoft whatever go to log underscore ngs or logs and then find the chat log it stores it for about 30 days maybe a little bit more than that but it basically all of your actions that you commit during the game all of these chat logs all the scratch all your acs all the symbol arts there's a log for all of that that they can get saved so that way you are also then protected most of the time this is actually only used to be able to then report other players but i'm going to be honest with you you can use that to protect yourself as well but keep in mind sega does have a means of being able to find out whether or not you edited these logs and you can also see that yourself if you click the properties of any text file or anything of the sort you can actually see that it's been edited because there'll be a new data display that then says previous versions most of the time this is blank but if you then saved over it or anything of the sort it will say that there was a previous version and this was edited at some point so you can't even be slick like that either but listen at the end of the day i enjoy playing this game as much as anybody else does and the last thing i want to see is this game flop for any numerous amount of reasons whether it be because of lack of content or because they banned every single player to an existence and yes you have a goddamn right to be scared because you don't know what it actually means to be malicious or hateful in any sort of way but i can assure you at least one thing that it's not for calling out sega on their topics or even by saying Sega sucks. I can also assure you it's not because you've been blocked by the official PSO2 Twitter, but this is a personal message here at the end of the video for Sega themselves. Even though the terms of service does cover these things, I would actually enjoy it if you guys put out a much clearer means as to what malicious intent, hateful messages, and or anything else of the sort. Like, what does that mean? So this way it's able to state the player base and be able to say, hey, this is what we're looking for. You're safe. While you don't owe anybody an explanation, it just gives players the peace of mind that they're looking for. Right now, that's what players want because right now they're scared more than anything because this is the world we live in where people are afraid of saying certain things 
because they might alienate other people because there will be somebody who's offended by literally anything that someone says. Even though it's written out of the terms of service, if there's a clear cut guideline that explains why certain people were banned for Melissa's messages or anything like that, it would be easy for people to be like, okay, you know what? These people were banned for this reason and then that would be it. But when there's a statement saying we banned 1600 players for a malicious intent or racism or anything of the sort and people were banned for, you know, red box farming or even RMTing, while those are again against the terms of service, those are two different things, two different extremes. And honestly, those kinds of players shouldn't be lumped into the same hole. But anyway, that's all I'm going on in this topic, because honestly, I don't really think that anything here was too crazy to be spoken about in the first place. I shouldn't have needed to make this video, but I did, because honestly, at the end of the day, I need people to understand that these things are not okay. If that makes me a bad person, well, then you know what? I guess, like I said earlier in the video, I'm the worst of them all. But anyway, guys, thank you guys again for watching. As always, stay awesome, stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Video. Peace. I'm out.